I'm a money making, no cap, ayy. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Mika, and we are back with another video, another banger on the channel today. So today we are doing the What's on My iPhone video. So here is my main screen. Um, I have the photo app. Of course, here are some of my photos. As you can see, most of the things are YouTube related or Instagram related. Um, I have my mail app that shows my email my calendar of course everyone has that here's my instagram y'all i have to admit i do have four instagram accounts um this is my main instagram make sure you go follow your girl at mika underscore done so you can see all these popping pictures and popping videos um my next instagram page is my braided by meek page this is where all my hair content is posted this is where my clients can book appointments with me as well um i'm gonna click on one of my videos so you can just see what your girl is working with these are some knotless braids that i have done next page is all things cheesecakes this is my cheesecake business that i have um as you can see your girl is talented in many ways here are a few of my pictures um crafty creations by meek is my other business that i have i do a lot of party favorites for birthday parties and different events i also make t-shirts different crafting things this is a um, bundle that i actually did for the keisha versus ashanti versus battle So my next thing is my TikTok. Make sure you follow me with life underscore with underscore Mika. Follow me on TikTok. Here's my Facebook. Um, I think my name on here is Samika Dunn, actually. Um, of course, here's my YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe. So we're going to scroll over. Um, I actually do drive for a waiter at times, so I do have, that's what the driver app is for. I have the DoorDash app because I do DoorDash as well. I have Maps, I have Square. Square is the app that I use to get paid for my braiding services as well as my cheesecakes. I have Pandora. I have Gmail, y'all. If anybody knows how to delete all of those emails like in large quantities let me know i have the text free app which is what i use to get in touch with my clients and communicate and the equit app is what i use for my cheesecake um storefront so my client my customers can go on there to order without talking directly to me um let's see what's playing on my pandora let's see i can't wait till you you can see I have a little Janae Aiko, Aiko, Aiko. I don't know how to say her name. But anyway, that's what's playing on my Pandora at the moment. So, of course, I have my Gmail app, y'all. If any one of y'all know how to get rid of a bulk of emails at one time with Gmail, please let me know. I have 16,000 emails. Um, I have my text-free app, which is what I use to communicate with my clients. So I don't have to give my real phone number out. I have the Equit app, which is what I use for my storefront for my cheesecake sales. Um, next, we have Canva, which is what I use for all of my flyers. Um, I do so much with Canva, y'all. I use it for my flyers. I use it for my thumbnails as well. Um, as you can see, I'm going to open it up and show you a little something, something. So like I said, these are some of my thumbnails I've created as well as some of the flyers that I've created since I've had um, the Canva app on my phone. Next, we have the App Store. Of course, everyone has that. I have the Weather app. I have Facebook Messenger. I have the Remind app, which is actually an app for my for communicating with my kids' teachers. Um, this app is the Notes app. Of course, everyone has that on their iPhone as well. Um, Discord is actually an app for Uber that I don't even use. The next two apps are school apps that I no longer use. 
Um, the next app is the Murphy Drive app. I actually use this app to save coins when I am getting gas. Um, as you can see, this app is for Murphy USA. Uh, you get a, a hundred points will get you 10 cent off each gallon of gas. They have the rev up option that actually gives you like little bonus points and stuff. So I just got 10 extra bonus points. Um, the next app is Disney Plus. Of course, I use that to keep up with my Disney shows and stuff that I used to watch. I have the files app, contacts, calculator, settings. Um, I actually used the Widget Smith and the Color Widget app to customize my phone when that was real popping. That's how I got it to look the way it's looking. I have Prime Video. This is my education folder, folder which actually includes a few apps from my kids' school. Um, don't ask why the Providers app is on there, y'all. That is actually an app for me to keep up with the balance on my food stamp card. I guess I just... It's educational for me to know how much I can swipe, swipe, swipe while I'm in the store, I guess. That's why that is in the education folder. But, yeah. Uh, class Dojo is a way for me to communicate with my son's class. Um, cricket. As you've seen before on my Instagram, I do make t-shirts. And, you know, that's the software that I use for my Cricut machine. I have Style Seat, which is what I, what, what I previously used to book my clients. Um, everyone has the Sheen app. If you don't get it, um, Schedule Administration app is actually the scheduler that I use to book my clients' appointments. And I have Kickoff and Self, which are both credit apps that are supposed to help me build my credit up. So I just started recently using those a few months ago. Um, if you don't have them, that's a good thing to use. Of my suggestions... I have Impresso. Impresso is what I use to make my introduction and my outro for my YouTube channel. I have Pinterest in this folder as well as my photos. And the other, the pink app with the lady, that is actually a period tracker app. Um, works. I, it's, it's one of the best ones that I have found. I love it. Um, my recently used app, my recently added apps. Um, Asana, that is a an app that was actually suggested to me to download by one of our fellow YouTubers. Um, it's just a scheduling app to keep track of things and take notes and stuff like that. CapCut is what I actually edit all of my YouTube videos on. Focus Live, I downloaded that and don't even use it. I just wanted to see what it was about because people were talking about it. I have the Google Calendar, which is helping me keep up with you know, my schedule and sorting things out and planning things. I am is a calendar with like nice quotes. Later is actually an app that I just downloaded for Instagram that will upload my pictures whenever I want them. I can set a date and time for pictures to upload. Um, Uber, that's self-explanatory. Prequel, I don't even know what that is. Two Buddies and also my new BFF that I have found. Um, to keep track of all my analytics on my YouTube channel. I have Apple TV. I also have the Uber Driver app. And also VidIQ. Um, social. This is, you know, basically my social medias. Facebook. I have FaceTime, Google Duo. Any, basically anything that I can use to keep track and to communicate with people. This is a bunch of productivity and finance apps. Y'all, I don't even use most of these apps that are on here. Um, I know you see Alibaba.com. I'm currently on there trying to work with vendors to get products for my hair business. This is my creativity folder. This is probably the main folder that some of you all would like to see if you are currently a YouTuber. Um, my camera, of course. I explain Canva, explain CapCut, um, Clips. I don't even know what that is. Never used it. Cricut Design Space. Um, I also explain that. Fast slow mo, I downloaded before I knew what time lapse was on my iPhone camera settings. The rest of them is just a few miscellaneous apps. Some of them I mentioned already. I have a utility section, as you can see, just a few basic little apps calculator, my clock, um, family link is what I use to track my children's phone. I have Find My, which is for my iPhone and stuff. Um, Entertainment apps are YouTube, Pandora, the main ones I use on here, Hulu, Netflix, 
Um, yeah, I don't really use any of the other apps, not on my phone. These are my shopping apps. Of course, you need Afterpay if you like to shop. Um, Albertsons, I am in Albertsons every month getting seafood. So I love to, you know, use the different discounts on there. Have the Amazon app shopping basically all the time. I'm a Prime member. Dollar General and Family Dollar, I don't really use those apps anymore. I was using those when I was couponing. I have JCPenney, don't really use that one. Klarna, another pay-as-you-go app. Let go and offer up, you know, those are selling apps where you can sell things or purchase things that people are selling. Sam's Club, I am in there every month. So, of course, I have that app. Shop app basically keeps track of all my deliveries that are coming. Ulta Beauty app, I don't even know why that's on my phone. I've never been to Ulta. I'm not even interested in makeup and stuff, so I've never been there. Walmart, of course, self-explanatory. Just like the Sam's app, I'm in Walmart quite often. The Wholesale 7 app, I think I saw someone talking about this on my Instagram or my Facebook, which made me actually go download it to see. It's actually a, um, a clothing store, I think, like a wholesale clothing store app that you can find clothes for the Lolo. I've never used the app, never downloaded anything from it. I don't even know why I still have it on my phone. But as you can see, you can go purchase different types of clothing on there. And of course, I have Zip Quad Pay, which is another pay-as-you-go app. These are my business apps. Like I said, Asana, I'm currently using that to actually plan out my content for YouTube and Instagram. Um, I have the PayPal business app. Um, let's see another one. I don't use most of those either. Um, in this other folder... Y'all, anybody that personally knows me know that I have mute. I have moved a few times, like a few. So I have Apartment Finder, European Wax Center for when I want to go get a wax, Pinterest, Stassi, and Tinder. Your girl is single, so yes, I do have a Tinder account. Um, <laughs> don't judge me, please. Don't judge me in the comments, baby, because yeah, that app actually. That's how I met my current little friend that I got. But anyway. Um, I have a travel section, booking.com. I actually have booked um, hotels for different visits through that. Um, I have a Great Wolf Lodge app because my kids and I went to visit. This is the Waze app, y'all. I love this so much better than the regular Maps app when I am on the road. Like if I'm going far or going out of town, this is the perfect app to use. It is... um. It will alert you of any, like, you know, police officers or anything, or if they have traffic, or you could also preset the time that you need to leave. Like, let's say I wanted to get to this location by 7 p.m. or, you know, 8.30. It's an hour and an eight-minute drive, so it's telling me I should leave by 7.22 if I want to arrive by 8.30. So, it's a neat little app to use. Um, I had to exit out of it. <laughs> so that I wouldn't continue to hear it in the background. But this is my health and fitness section. When I was on when I was on my health journey, y'all. I downloaded all of these apps. I will be getting back to this soon. But the drink water app, of course, reminds you to drink water. We got goals and fitness that actually helped me like keep track when I was walking and stuff. Um my calendar, of course. My chart keeps track of doctor's appointments and stuff. Another education section. Basically, all the stuff that I previously showed you, it's all in one section. So, um, the information and reading app, basically, the only app I use from that is the Bible app. This is my food and drink section. Um, as you can see, your girl likes to eat, baby. That is how, you know, I got so juicy, you know, so thick. But, yeah. Chipotle is one of my favorite fast food restaurants to eat at. Church's Chicken. Y'all, I love me some fried chicken. But the only apps I really use on here are Domino's, Papa John's, and Pizza Hut for when I want to order pizza for me and the kids. So, that is it with everything that is on my phone. So, that was a great video for all the folks that wanted to see what 
you know, what I, what I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm always on my phone. But, yeah, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but thank you for watching. Yeah.